So I'm Gabe Birnbaum. Sean Mullins. We're from Van Wilder Maker, and this is our van, also known as Van Wilder or Whitey Ford. Uh, we split the driving pretty evenly. Uh, I have a job that I do on the computer on the internet, so sometimes during the week I'll chill out in the back of the van in the office and uh, send emails. But uh, whoever's driving picks the music, although there's, you know, some consulting. Yeah, there's uh, some leniency. Yeah, it's a little open-ended. We split up who gets back, back seat privileges too. Sometimes. Also true. Although the front seats are more comfortable. That is true. But the they come with a little more social obligation. That's true, you gotta talk if you're gonna be in the front seat. You can't just pass out. On this run, it's been primarily music for me. Although I also did a long drive, my phone was dying and our charger stopped working. So in order to conserve battery, I just did a silent drive while the bass player fell asleep next to me and Sean wasn't there yet. So I've been listening to the new Aldous Harding record, Kate LeBon. Uh, I don't think I've played the state champion record from last year yet, but I'm definitely going to. Yes. I'm in the middle of an audio book, but I feel like it's rude to put that on halfway through for the rest of the band. What is it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a novel about a kid whose parents are sort of like hippie revolutionaries. And he gets taken away by a woman who thinks he, he thinks is his mom, but it's not actually. Yeah, it's good, but it's, it's already kind of in. Yeah, you're in there. Yeah, I'm in there. Uh, this is our collection of broken phone chargers, which we haven't thrown out yet. We may need them. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. Yeah. We got an iPod in here that definitely doesn't work. <laughs> Don't even know. Ancient iPod. I think that, that one's actually mine. <laughs> uh, this is a rock that we took from the Henry Miller Memorial Library in Big Sur uh, as a little souvenir of our visit. I don't think we were supposed to have done that, but it's a rock. You know, whatever. They'll, They'll survive. Uh, got this little owl that I bought in Texas a long time ago. Yeah, this little guy. Oh, yeah. That's a gift from my girlfriend's father. Thank you, Chuck. Uh, we got this glove, which we picked up while getting drunk at a bar in Richmond, Virginia after our gig. And I have this theory that people won't smash up the van if it looks like a really, really garbagey, like, working vehicle. So I've just been leaving this on the dash ever since. Clean. Uh, Very clean van. This is a Christmas cookie that's been in here since Christmas. It's June. Uh, and uh, here's a CD that uh, these DJs we just played with gave us. We haven't listened to it yet, but we will. We've also got this repository of just, who, who knows? We got a wiffle bat, no wiffle ball. Some, some old antacid. Yeah, just a lot of food that's probably been up there for a good two, three years. Yeah. Some dried mango. Oh yeah, a mango's definitely. Hopefully it's as dry as it can, it can be at this point. <laughs> it's extra dry mango. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> Apple TV. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the well of mystery. All right, so here's the midsection of the van. Um, there's an outlet that doesn't work. A fan that hardly works and is very so loud that you would never want it to be on. We got a bicycle pump. It's broken. There's no needle. Uh, Sean's pillow. A uh, little fold-up cooler that has some food in it that may or may not be good. And some beer that we stole from green rooms. Um, but the back seat is really for sending emails, taking naps, you know, it's the chill, it's the chill zone. So on the back of the van, we basically pack it all the way to the ceiling. You can never see out the back. Yes. Yeah, the pack, so I'm in charge of the van, but I have poor spatial intelligence, so I almost never am the one who's in charge of the pack. Uh, I usually just let someone else who's better at it do it first, and then I imitate whatever they did. And so on this tour, our bass player who went to get coffee has really been the one who's commandeered. It, yeah. yeah, he enjoys it. He really does. He's actually we got a pretty good pack on the second night, and he's changed it every day since then. Just, just because he thinks it can always be better, and I respect that kind of uh, attitude. Yeah. Cool. So thanks for riding with us in our van. Uh, we're part of Wilder Maker. You can check us out at wildermaker.bandcamp.com get our album Zion.